Welcome to 401k University Class 200, History of the 401k. I am your host, Stephen Lorio. The purpose of this class is to give you insight into the humble beginnings of the 401k and its dramatic transformation since then. Here is our agenda. The first 401k plan, the end of pensions and newfound significance of 401k, key takeaways, and then to recap. Section 1. The First 401k Plan The 401k provision was created in 1978 as part of that year's Tax Revenue Act when Paragraph K was inserted into Section 401 of the Tax Code by New York Republican Representative Barbara Conable. It went largely unnoticed for two years until it became effective in 1980. Then on September 20, 1980, a benefits consultant with the Johnson Companies, Theodore Ted Benna, came up with his innovative interpretation of the 401k provision in response to a bank client's proposal to transfer a cash bonus plan to a deferred profit sharing plan. The now familiar features he proposed were considered outlandish then. Pre-tax salary reduction, company matches, and employee contributions. He proposed what would become the first 401k, a revolutionary idea to the bank, or as he called it then, the cash op. Per the advice of the bank's attorney, it rejected the idea, as the attorney didn't want the bank to be the guinea pig for an interpretation of the law that most felt the IRS would quash. Mr. Benno was so convinced in his approach, though, that he convinced his company to establish the first 401k before the Internal Revenue Service had even finished writing the regulations that would govern it. Many were surprised, then, when the IRS gave provisional approval to his request in the spring of 1981, and, even more so, when the IRS specifically sanctioned Mr. Benna's interpretation of the law that fall. Prior to 401k, defined benefit plans, commonly referred to as company pensions, were the dominant way companies provided for their workers. While both 401k and defined benefit plans are technically pension plans, whenever a worker referred to the company pension, they meant the company defined benefit plan. But oh the times, they were a changing. Section 2 the end of pensions and newfound significance of 401k. What Mr. Benna could not have imagined, though, was the defining shift in retirement benefits that the creation of 401k would have. Starting in 1981, companies all over America began the rapid adoption of the 401k, given the ability to enjoy significant tax advantages without putting the company's balance sheet at risk as it would in a pension. Coupled with the significant tax reforms aimed at shoring up pension liability in the years to follow, and the retirement landscape has seen a tremendous decline in pensions. This is troublesome, though, as in its creation, the 401k plan was designed as a supplemental plan. What then was it supposed to supplement? Company pensions. As such, many of the underlying mechanisms of the 401k need to be reconsidered in light of its dominant, transformative impact on the retirement world. How dominant? Let's look at one last piece of data. In 1985, a mere 16% of active participants had a 401k, whereas 47% of them had a pension. By 2009, 67% of active participants had a 401k, and only 20% had a pension. In one generation's time, 401ks have replaced pensions as the de facto retirement account for America's workers. Section 3, Key Takeaways. The above points tell us two important things. First, like many of the great innovations in our history, the 401k came about from a lone, intrepid person's mind. This is part of what makes America great. If you can dream it, it can be made real. Second, what we know from the graphs is that the 401k plan became so successful that it is no longer a supplemental plan, and to treat it as such is folly. This is why it is so important to properly educate yourself on the 401k and its many strengths to ensure you get from the 401k what you need for your retirement. The very first thing that you need to learn is what it will take to ensure your success. Put another way, the 401k needs to evolve from a pool of money into your private pension. To recap, the very first 401k was created by the innovative interpretation of a 1978 revenue ruling by Theodore Ted Benna. However, Mr. Benna could not have imagined the dramatic effect 401k would have on the retirement landscape. 
This is why it's very important to learn what it will take to ensure your success in retirement with a 401k. As mentioned previously, your 401k needs to evolve from a pool of money into your private pension. Thank you for your time and attention. Our next class in this series is Class 201, The Private Pension. Intermediate and advanced class attendees should all visit this class.